Hi guys, if you want to root your Motorola phone or flash a custom ROM, then you'll need two important files, boot.img and vbmeta.img. In this video, I'll show you how to get boot image and vbmeta image safely using the official Motorola tool. So let's get started. First, make sure you have a Windows PC. Now on your PC, open any browser and simply search for Motorola Software Fix Tool. This is the official tool from Motorola that we'll use to get the firmware safely. Click the Motorola support link and download the tool for your Windows version. I've also added the direct download link in the description to make things easier. Once the download is complete, install the software by clicking next a few times. It's quick, simple and completely safe. It will also install the Motorola USB drivers automatically in the background. Let me quickly install it on my PC. Once it's installed, go ahead and open the tool, then click on continue to proceed. Here, you'll need to create an account to use the software. I already have one, so I'll just log in using my Google account. After logging in, you can skip the onboarding steps and click on the Phones option. Once you tap on it, you'll see multiple connection options, like getting your phone info using IMEI, Wi-Fi or fast boot mode. But to keep it simple, just connect your Motorola phone to the PC using a USB cable. Now the tool is asking to install the Moto Assistant app on the phone. Just click OK and it will install the app automatically in a few seconds. Alright, the app is now installed and it opens automatically on the phone. You'll now see a code on your PC screen. Enter that code on your Motorola phone to connect it with the Moto tool. Once you tap connect, your device will be successfully linked to the tool. Next, grant all permissions to the Moto Assistant app when prompted. This is important for proper detection. And that's it. Our Motorola phone is now successfully connected to the tool. As you can see, it shows all the device info like model name, battery level, Android version and more. Now click on the rescue tab and then hit the download button to begin downloading the firmware. This may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed because firmware files are usually large. After the download finishes, the firmware will be automatically saved to this folder. So just wait for the download to finish. Once it's done, the download button will change to a rescue button. And there we go. The firmware is now downloaded and as you can see, the rescue button has appeared. Now let's locate the downloaded firmware files on your PC. Open File Explorer and go to Local Disk C. Now look for the Program Data folder, but keep in mind this folder is hidden by default. To make it visible, click on the View tab at the top, then go to Show and enable Hidden Items. Once you do that, the Program Data folder will appear. Now open it, go into the RSA folder, then open Download. And here, click on the ROM Files folder and there we go. Inside this folder, you'll find all the extracted firmware files for your Motorola device. Now to root your Motorola device, you first need to identify which boot image file needs to be patched with Magisk. To find out which boot image you need to patch, open the flashfile.xml file inside the firmware folder. This file lists all the partitions and images used during flashing. Look through it and search for boot.img. In this case, the device only has one boot image, which is just boot.img. So this is the file we'll patch with Magisk. But also check if there's a file called initboot.img listed. If you find initboot image in the XML file, that means your device uses initboot for root and you'll need to patch that one instead. Also need the vbmeta file for flashing. And here we have our vbmeta image right inside the same folder. Just copy both files, boot.img and vbmeta.img to a folder where you can easily access them later. I've already made a full video on how to create a Magis patched boot image and root any Motorola phone step by step. Just click here or check the link in the description to watch it. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Motorola and Android tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.